here predefined functional interfaces of what is predicate what is function what is consumer and what is supplier now we will discuss about what is unary operator and binary operator what is unary operator and what is binary operator what is unary operator and what is binary operator what is unary operator and what is binary operator now see see what is mean by function function is usually to if the requirement would be okay where okay input is any type of argument output is any type of argument now we should go for function being it is as we have discussed this it is our the function interface function function will have one abstract method what is that abstract method team okay, inside of this function apply apply here t comma r r, r apply now you should go for here this is t, t. So that's fine now what happened if you have if you have two input type of arguments are there if you have two input type argument is there we should go for by function we should go for by function what you have to give two argument you have to give that's fine now you have to give like this thing et comma u u okay fine but your requirement is hey suppose if the input and output are same if the input and output are same input and output means let us assume that input is same type of argument output also will be same type of argument r is a okay, written type is okay input is same type of argument output also would be same type of arguments all are same type of arguments all are same type of okay, arguments if the input and output both are belongs to same type of arguments same type of arguments then then now then why unnecessarily you are writing this function interface why unnecessarily you are writing this for okay, function interface so then you should here here you should go for unary operator unary operator here you should go for binary operator binary operator it here unary operator right here unary operator what is this unary operator if the input and output will be same type same type then then you should use you should use unary operator if the input and the output would be same then you should use unary operator you should use unary operator how to use this one how to use this one so first you should use unary operator unary operator is the child interface of function interface is the child interface of 
function interface. Unary operator is the child interface of function interface. Okay, team. How to use this one? See. How to use this one? Public interface. Unary operator. Unary operator. Only one argument. Only one argument. What is the method inside of the argument? One method. That method also input is an input is an same data type, same type output also it would be same. Okay, input is an same type output also it would be same team. Output also it would be same team. Understood or any questions here? Understood or any questions here? Now, unary operators. Now, here see unary operator. Go for one small of example team. How this unary operator will work? How this unary operator will work? Unary operator integer. Integer. Now here see, if you give, if it is okay, integer comma of okay, integer, now what happened, f is equal, let's assume that one simple argument, it is a lambda of expression, it is a lambda of expression t, it was a lambda of expression, now what we will do, now system dot out dot print ln, System dot out dot print ln f dot apply f dot apply 10 here is what happened there are now here first of all okay, input and okay, outputs are it is not okay unary it is a function if the okay, input and okay, output are both are same why you should go for unnecessarily function why you should add two arguments there add only one argument that argument using unary operator here you have to give here integer integer now you should give to here unary operator that's it team so you are avoiding unnecessary extra arguments here you are avoiding unnecessary extra arguments here now okay let's see how simple we'll do From dot stenotech unary operator unary operator demo What is this? Unary operator demo. Now, as we know, if you go for function, function, function. No function function. That's it. Now what you will do? System dot out dot to print ln dot apply dot apply after as Java application. So now instead of you will write to then go for only one argument using unary operator using unary operator i am i am taking only one integer only one integer unary operator
then it is here. Now here what you should do system dot out dot println unary operator dot apply of 20. That's it. You don't need to write too many, you know, uh, too many arg okay, arguments here. If you know okay, exactly your input and output would be same arguments, then you should go for unary operator. Got it, team? Depends upon the requirement, you should use team all. Now go to here. Now here, third point. Unary operator always always acts always acts several auto boxing and un unboxing unary operator always acts several auto boxing and unboxing are there auto boxing and Unboxing are there. So, unary operator always acts as a sorry auto boxing. Always acts as a auto boxing. If there are, if there are several, several auto boxing and unboxing are there, then, then. Preferred, preferred primitive unary operator. Preferred primitive unary operator. If there are several auto boxing and unboxing are there. If there are several auto boxing and unboxing are there, then preferred primitive unary operator. Preferred primitive unary operator steam. How many primitive unary operators are there? Now we will see there are four, uh, there are three primitive unary operators is there. One is, one is interface, interface int, int unary operator, okay, interface int unary operator, int unary operator. It is a primitive, it is already you are specifying here int. No need to specify again here arguments as a hint here. Here, what are the methods are there here? Public. Here, your output it is apply as. Apply as. Here, interesting one is here also it should be always integer only. That's why we are going to put this one here. Similarly, int long double. Int long double team. Go for it is an integer. Go for it is an long. Go for another one is called double team. Int long double. Okay, team. So now here integer. Here long. Here long. Here you would have double. Here you would have double team. Int long double. Go for here also long. Go for here also double. Because unary operator it is always you are here apply as apply as long. It is a long. Here apply as apply as double. Here it is a double. to team here depends upon the requirement now we should use now here how to use this go for here either one you can use no need to use all if you see it is a unary operator unary operator is extend as a function so unary operator will have a method is called static method it is called identity okay but in never it will be a Okay, extended out. Okay, what happened? Apply all interface. Now, a um, functional interface can extend another functional interface. 
when when after extends another interface this interface also only one abstract method here it returns a unary operator that always returns input arguments unary operator always returns input arguments only because here inputs and outputs are same type here same type here let us see you know you can write here one simple point here the point unary and unary operator that always returns its input argument only as per documentation then how to do this one now if you want to do write this one here simple one unary operator into, into unary operator into into unary operator is equal to new int sorry is equal to it is an it is a functional interface i star i sit oh, what we'll do here system dot out dot print ln i o u dot apply only apply apply as int you are passing 30 so it will reduce the number of auto boxing and unboxing operations run as java applications done team done understood team depends upon the requirement you should go similarly okay if you want okay you should go if you want you should go i don't want to write all this long unary operator is equal long unary operator is equal system dot out dot print ln apply as long apply as long that's it depends upon the requirement you should use team either integer or long or double Understood team or any questions team? Team, are we clear team? Okay, everyone. Are you following team? Yes, sir. It's clear. Yeah. Good. Now here, okay, next one. What is binary operator? Now what is binary operator team? If you know unary, now binary would be easy what is binary operator this is binary operator team now first one see if all the binary arguments means for what now if function may have two arguments three arguments two are input two are output if the function the function will have two input arguments then it would be by function the function will have two input argument if the function will have two input arguments then it would be by function then it would be by function okay here if the function will have three arguments two are input <coughs> and one is output one is output the third one if all if all the three type if all the three types if all the three arguments if all the three arguments 
if all the three arguments will be same type then then we should go for we should go for binary operator we should go for binary operator should go for binary operator if all the three arguments if all the three arguments will be the same type then we should go for binary operator we should go for binary operator now okay, next one see here now here how to take this one how to take how to start okay, let's see how the binary operator would be there public interface how the binary operator would be there public interface now you can write binary operator is the field interface of function interface child interface of function interface binary operator is the child interface of function interface now how to write this binary interface interface binary interface S -s sorry binary operator here here in three arguments it should be same team three argument it would be same that means public p p apply apply simple p p1 p p2 p sorry t t1 t t2 that's it that's it team okay then see t t1 t t2 okay how to write okay simple example here if it is by function what is the problem by function you have to give let's assume that either string or whatever it string s1 comma string s2 string s1 comma string s2 in by function is equal s1 comma s2 now you can give s1 concatenation s1 concatenation of s2 s1 concatenation of s2 Understood now. So let's see how it is. Okay, instead of writing two okay, two arguments, now you can write binary operator. Binary operator write only one argument string. So this here. Here you can give two arguments, it's not a problem. S1 comma S2 because this binary operator will supply string for both arguments s1 dot concatenation of s2 s2 understood now see how it happens example com dot stenotech instead of unary operator I should give here binary operator. I should give here binary operator. Now we would use simple by function. By if it is by function means 
input and output let's assume that if it is same by function then what will be happened here you can use two arguments if the two arguments means compulsory this okay parenthesis is there now i am giving s1 dot two argument is there compulsory okay parenthesis is there by function string string s1 comma s2 what is happening function by function will returns yeah it's by function will returns three arguments sorry here input two two inputs and one output is equal is equal s1 comma s2 go ahead here s1 dot concatenation of s2 s2 okay team system dot out dot print ln dot apply off apply off now here you can give s1 is reno and s2 is tech s1 is reno and s2 is tech run as java application reno tech is done run as java application Sinotech is done team here. Understood team everyone? This is the way how to use. Now, why I should add too many arg okay, arguments here? I would prefer for the binary operator. If you use this binary operator, only one argument is there. It will take care of, it will supply these arguments for input and supply these arguments for output wherever you want, whatever you want, it would be supported. Okay, it is an only functional interface, it is an only binary operator. Nothing would be change here yeah, i would give here bo i would give here bo team binary operator will take care everything team binary operator will take care see it is asking hey see you know, remove this argument also let's see remove this argument bo dot apply what is the problem here binary operator is not a generic it cannot be parameter as a string okay how we have given here binary operator it is okay binary operator like this bo should work right one second You need to give two arguments as a binary arguments. Binary operator. It should work. Binary operator. Oh, the problem is class name team. It is taking as a class name. One second. Yeah. Now it makes sense. Thing binary operator is equal to s1 comma s2 s1 dot s1 dot concatenation of s2 Now we are good. Good team. Now we should go over here. 
Genotech. Go to here, Genotech. Okay. Now run as Java application. B B O. Now run as Java application D. See, Genotech. Now here also it will be same. If the more number of okay, uh, see by default it will be auto unboxing. So now here we should go for use use primitive binary operators to improve the to improve the application performance by reducing by reducing number of number of auto boxing and unboxing operations by okay, reducing number of auto boxing and unboxing operations by okay, reducing the number of operations by reducing the number of auto boxing and unboxing operations how many how many primitive types of this binary operators are there there are three three primitive types of binary operator would be there what are this three there are three primitive three primitive binary operators are there one is one is into binary operator another one is long binary operator another one is double binary operator into binary operator long binary operator and double binary operator double binary operator how to work this one now we will see practically before binary what happened here just you would have one simple use case in binary operator binary operator simple use case i am giving instead of string here I want to give here integer t. I want to give here integer. If it is an integer now, now what happened? You may pass two arguments i1 comma i2. i1 comma i2. Just your business logic is like this team. Your business logic is like this binary operator of integer. Now you give apply apply means what you will give you will give apply is here here i1 i2 here you will give 10 integer here you will give 20 but what happened you know because of this binary operator so because of this primitives it is taking more time because of this primitive so there are n number of auto boxing unboxing operations will be there unboxing would not be there here always it will be auto boxing auto boxing means the process of converting your primitive types into your wrapper object is called auto unboxing this is this will be okay impact your application performance to overcome these problems to overcome these problems now we should go for primitive binary operator if you go for a primitive binary operator this primitive binary operator will take care of to perform automatically auto boxing and un unboxing internally internally your compiler will be taken care it it won't be any performance issues here into binary operator no need to give again here an integer because this itself is an integer no need to provide any 
okay integer because this itself is an integer how to specify this into binary operator is equal same logic whatever logic here we have same logic we have discussed here to team int binary operator into binary operator see o oh, it is ibo the value of local variable is is there anyone is there local variable i4 init a Sorry. System dot out dot print ln ibo dot apply. So now you should give some apply as integer. If it is double, apply as double. If it is long, apply as a long. You got the output. You got the output team. Any questions team here? This also see how this always it is an binary operator. Now you are binary operator will be okay, extends with the by function. By function. Your unary operator will be okay, extends with the only function. Only function. That's why binary operator will be used for it is for okay, extents of this by function by function see returns which returns the lesser of two elements representation of operations upon two operands of the same type and produce in the results of the same type of operation this is a specialization of the where operands and okay, results are all of the same type team all of the same type here i have given here see so your binary operator is the interface of by function by function i told clearly when we should go for this one as per okay, documentation just i am okay specifying here so okay, represents operations upon two operands means two arguments of same time and okay, producing the result of also same time. Okay, this specialization of for this case, okay, specialization of for this case team, okay, specialization of for this case where the operands and the result of all the of the same type team. Same type team. That's it. Team. Any questions team? Any questions team here? This is what about binary operator details team. We have okay, discussed primitive. We have okay, discussed, you know, team. Yeah, now. So till now, what do we have discussed team? Functional interfaces. How to write summary on okay, okay, functional interface? We have used how to write. We have used team number one. How to write user defined functional interfaces? How to write user defined functional interface? Now, two. How to write okay, how to use. Redefined functional interface. <coughs> Sorry. Redefined functional interface like what are the predefined okay, functional interface? A. We have okay, discussed around how to write this predicate. Predicate, I am telling only okay, high level. Predicate and by predicate. We have okay, discussed predicate, by predicate. And what are the primitive? What are the primitive? 
primitive predicates. We have already discussed all. Okay. The next section. A. Function by function by function t and we have already discussed the primitive primitive function interfaces. Primitive function interfaces. Okay, the next one team. We have okay, discussed about consumer, consumer, by consumer, and we have okay, discussed here. Okay, next one team. Consumer by consumer C. C primitive. Consumer interfaces. Next one team. A. A. Supplier. B. A supplier. B. There is no buy supplier here. Because when you should go for buy if more if the input arguments is more than one you should go for supplier so here no that's why if you see our the previous example we did not write any supplier we did not write any supplier for this by supplier here we have written only for a supplier and a supplier primitive system primitive Supplier interfaces. Let me do supplier interfaces team. Okay, understood team. So these are the things we have okay, discussed. And, and okay, last one is unary operator, which is the child interfaces of function and also primitive. Also primitive unary operator primitive unary operator interfaces next one is binary operator next one is binary operator primitive binary operator primitive binary operator interfaces team these are the things we have discussed today okay any questions team here hope you are good okay everything here about function interface you can write anything team here now done all this stuff team are you confident or not all and i should go for predicate function consumer supplier i will give one summary table team team got it team good last one is their team one operator is there if if this is done we can start our lambda expression stream uh, sorry start our stream stream apis is very 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 important to team method reference operator method reference operator very very important to team method reference operator method or constructor okay reference operator in the bracket if you understand this nothing is there team. if you understand this we can immediately start our stream apis so now till now we have you know okay, discussed functional interfaces is usually to to call lambda expression functional interface is usually to to call lambda expressions similarly similarly functional interfaces is also used to also used to functional interfaces 
is also used to to call to call method references also used to to call method references functional interfaces is also used to to call method references very very important team what is this method references what is this method references to call method references okay, simple team i don't want to write too, too much of see if i have a class public class demo public class demo i will give one simple okay public class demo team so just to use case but it is not a okay okay, okay it is not a just assume that here my demo is an okay functional interface my demo is an functional interface how to declare a functional interface Functional interface. Okay, that's fine. Now I have a one method here public void demo. It is only an abstract method. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now I have a one simple class. It is not, it is a my concrete class. Public static void M came to a one simple class. System dot out dot to print ln is M2 method. M2 method reference. M dot out dot to print ln m2 method reference system dot out dot to print ln m2 method reference m2 method reference now here see how to use okay, how to use this one demo d equal very very important demo d is equal here you have you know okay, okay, public static void main and all stuff is there earlier we used to do call our lambda expressions based on our okay, requirement we used to call our lambda expressions so here whatever you want to write your logic here you can write your logic okay system dot out dot print ln whatever you got it here you will write your logic this interface dot m1 you are calling okay, that's fine now same i told you use my statement functional interface is also used to call method reference means now you no need to call this lambda expressions now you should do demo d is equal to simple team test to colon m2 that's it that's it that's it test to colon m2 method reference advantage is code reusability Wherever you want, you can use simple class name colon method name. If you want to apply method reference, compulsory, you should have same argument. What is argument and all that we will discuss later. Simple, I am telling. So, instead of replace your whole lambda expressions, if you have any already method is there that method you want to substitute in place of lambda expressions you can write simply here understood team i am not explaining what is method reference and all i will explain later but as of now simple take 
functional interface is used to not only calling lambda expressions it is also used to, to call the method references it is also to call the method references team there is no relationship between all okay i will explain okay next class sir